Hi, I'm musician Jack Yu. I live in Las Vegas. Oh my! Today I'm gonna make a magic act with the items I bought at 99 cents only stores. It's one of my favorite places. I always go when I need new ideas for my magic. In this video, you'll see the process of how the magician makes the magic trick. At the end of the video, you'll see what magic I made with the dollar store items. Without further ado, let's go! Here's 99 cents only stores. A few days ago, I visited this store to find things for magic. Magicians always need new ideas. Here you can buy home deco, pass supplies, hardware, office and school supplies, first aid kits, foods, almost everything. And here's a hardware section. You can buy all these items for a dollar. That's amazing! But today I want to buy this. I'm looking for some colorful objects. Oh, here's the school supplies section. So many colorful things here. Scissors, palms, and crayons. Oh, look at this ball. It's an eraser. Uh, here's a soccer ball and basketball. I think I'm gonna use these too. If you can do slight of hand magic, you don't need to make any special gimmicks. Let me show you. It's a pure slice, there are no special gimmicks, but you need to practice it for a long time. I'm gonna do this trick for this act. Look at this, it's also erasers. When I see this kind of mini objects, I wanna do some magic with it. The story is, I'm in the miniature world and I do some magic there. But I'm always stuck with this concept and don't know what to do. Oh my, here's 96 crayons for a dollar? Nope, it's 599, it's dollar store, it's extremely expensive. Oh, I got an idea with this mirror, but I'm not gonna buy this because I need a specific design, so I'll make it using 3D printer. I looked around this store for 2 hours and thought about what kind of magic I could do. There were so many items, but it was hard to come up with new ideas. But I decided to buy some objects that I might use. Now look at this, here's a camp food section and it's a camber soup. When I see this label, I always want to do some magic with it. I think it's because of Andy Warhol. So I'll buy it. Alright, I came back home. I bought camber soups, flour, ball shooter, glasses, another glasses, magnifying glass, pants, palms, rubber dog, flour with pot, and balls. Now it's time to make special gimmicks. I don't have any amazing plans, but let's try. I bought a cute rubber dog. If I cover the body, it looks like a ball, so I think I can do something like this, but I don't know. Magnifier. I'm not gonna use this. I changed my mind. Oh my! First is camber soup. The lid of camber soup looks cool, so I cut this part and use it. I pierce the bottom to cut the lid clean, and then I cut the side part using a scissor. And I made two of these. Before I start, I'll make a mirror because I need a specific design. Now I'm designing it using the AutoCAD. And I'm checking my modeling in Cura. Looks good. I printed using 3D printer. The reason I made this object is because I want to make some connections between the items for the colors, shapes, and so on. The magic act is a collection of effects. We can't perform just one effect, so we need to create a routine or the act. In this way, I can make the act easily and naturally. During this process, I came up with an idea to use this comb, so I'll make the comb as well. Do you remember? I bought the soccer ball. My idea for this is, when I press the soccer ball with both hands, I'll change it to a flat soccer ball, like animation. Pretty cool, right? This paper is for the decoration of my magic book. You'll see it later. Guys, I made all the items that I use in my act, but I'm not gonna use some of the things I bought. When I bought things, I thought I could do magic with them, but it was harder than I thought, so I gave up. This always happens to me, but I don't care. Now it's time to practice full act. Yeah, it's not an easy process, but I should do it. Yeah! I practiced this routine for two days to find some more ideas, natural movements, better solutions for each part, and I had to keep practicing to remember physically. It was much harder than I thought. Yeah, it was quite stressful, but it was fun. Guys, I'm finished practicing. It took me two weeks to come up with this routine, make gimmicks, and practice. Yeah! And finally, I can show this to you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it and like it. And now, it's showtime!
If you like it, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And hope to see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye! Done? I don't know, I need to check. <laughs> I hope it's okay.